I'm gonna let you in on a small secret here because I have a method that some people are using, some people don't know about it, that can allow for you to go inside OBS or Streamlabs and record in very high quality, big face cams if you wanna do that. Or you can go ahead and record in a regular face cam down in the corner if you wanna do that. And everything is gonna be super high quality. And this is not done using a camcorder. This is not done using, you know, by swapping scenes inside the software. This is done by one scene, one recording. I have all of this in high quality full screen as well as when it comes to a face cam. There is a way to do it and get high quality, and I'm going to show you how to do so. Now, currently I am using OBS to record this tutorial, so I'm using Streamlabs in order to demonstrate this, but since the softwares are pretty much, you know, like 95% identical, and you can just, you know, carry this over to whichever software, doesn't really matter. I am going to show you how to do this using Streamlabs. So this is what a regular scene would look like, right? You have a screen recording or a game recording, then you would have a face cam down in the bottom left corner or the right corner, wherever you might want it to be. And I'm using a placeholder for now since I'm using my face cam to record this tutorial here. So of course my face cam is not gonna be available here, but just pretend this is your face cam. Okay, it's the same thing. <laughs> So the small secret that some people know about that some people don't know about is that you can actually go inside your settings and you open up your video settings, which is over here in a tab. And inside where you have the base canvas and the output, you can actually go ahead and type in a custom number. So what I'm going to do is instead of using 1920 by 1080, I'm actually going to be using the twice as long wide format. So when I go in here, it is going to be 3840 times 1080, which is actually going to give me this, you know, twice as long, but still the same height format. So doing that, I can go back down inside my output and I can actually pick the number that I just typed in. So 3840 times 1080, pick that one, click done. And then you can see we have this wide screen format going on. So all you have to do now is take your face cam, which is over here. So in my case, it is just this colored block here. And I can go ahead and reset my transform to make sure it is full screen and everything is good. So I'm just gonna go in and say, I want to reset my transform here to fit to screen. And then I'm gonna drag it over to the side. So now I have my screen recording over here on the left side and I have my face cam over here on the right side. And when you record this, it is going to give you a wide format as a recording file that you can take inside your editing software and then you just basically you take the first layer and you drag it over a little bit so you have this you know the gameplay footage or the, the screen recording in full screen and then you duplicate the layer and then you drag it over to the left side instead and then all of a sudden you have your face cam in full screen and you can crop it off or whatever you might want to do to cut off the you know the gameplay footage you can manipulate the face cam and do whatever you want inside the actual editing software instead of having to rely on OBSs or Streamlabs, uh, you know, like cropping tool and all that. So now you can actually change things and customize it using your editing software instead of using OBS or Streamlabs. And this is a technique that people use if they don't have a camcorder, you know, an external recorder for the face cam. So if you just have one webcam and you want to be able to do the same thing as those professional YouTubers are doing by taking a high quality full screen face cam footage and you can manipulate that inside the editing software, this is how you would do it. So with that short tutorial, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.